finally got around to doing some flow testing on the stock 3400 and 3100 cylinder heads. Uh, I started out with this uh, 2001-ish uh, 3400 cylinder head here. This is uh, the same casting number as the one I did the porting work on. I'll reveal those numbers in the, the next video. Just want to give you guys a baseline on these. And I want to show you guys the numbers after replacing the valves with 3500 valves. Just to show you uh, what kind of difference you'd see with the stock cylinder head. So a little bit of a refresher here. Stock intake port. Nothing special. You can see it still has all the machine grooves on the, the bowl there. Pretty bad lip on the exhaust port there with the factory machining. That's the casting number there. Now we'll get on to the flow numbers. So this is what uh, this head flowed without any port work done. Stock valve. And now I'll show you what the 3500 valve did. Sit there. See them side by side there. Face of the valves there. And this is the part number I used here. Made by Engine Tech. So we did end up picking up a, a little bit just from changing the to the 3500 intake valve on the stock port at least. It's not huge gains, but it is a gain for not doing a whole bunch of uh, port work. So now we move on to the exhaust side. So that's the stock 3400 valve. That's the 3500 valve. Not too much difference there. They are shaped differently on the face of the valve. It's more of a dish on the 3500 valves. I believe that's part of uh, what makes them a little bit lighter than stock. That's the part number for the exhaust valve. Also made by Engine Tech. All right, here's the numbers for the stock port, stock valve, and here is the numbers for the 3500 valve was a little surprised by how much the 3500 valve actually picked up. I didn't think it would pick up anything compared to the stock, but uh, it did a little bit. Uh, a couple things to note, the 3500 valves aren't matched to the seat. They're not lapped or nothing. The grinds might be close, but I haven't checked with any die or anything. So that could also change once it's a uh, once proper valve jobs done with the new valves and I used a three and a half inch bore for the flow bench, which is basically a stock 3100, 2.8, 3.1 bore size. So make sure you tune in to the next video and we will have the results from the port work. So uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.